Hi, myself Chef Pradeep De. I am the head chef and course director at Manju's The Art of Cooking. For cheesecake base, I am taking digestive biscuits and break them. Don't break them until your powder form. Keep it little chunks. Now with your hand, just give two, three rub. Now add butter. Cheesecake base mix is ready. Now I am taking this digestive biscuit mix in my ring and spread all over the corners. We have to make little hard base. So I am using this to make the base stronger. You can use any steel glass also. Now this base will go into the fridge for half an hour resting. Same way I am repeating this. Take sufficient amount of digestive biscuit mix to make the base stronger. If you make it thin, then cheesecake will break in time of demolding. Now the base is ready. It will go for refrigeration for 15 minutes. So I am taking digestive biscuit mix in my ring to make the base. Flat it with any of the hard metal. You can use glass. You can use ice cream scooper bag. Now we will set this into the refrigerator for 15 minutes. Today I am going to teach you fresh blueberry no bake cheesecake. For cheesecake preparation, we have to take agar agar. Then in that we will be using 2 pinch of caster sugar and mix it nicely. So it will be dilute easily in water. Water 5 times of agar agar. Mix it and leave it for soaking around 15 to 20 minutes. After resting, we have to microwave the agar agar mixture for 30 seconds. Now it's ready. Now we'll prepare the cream cheese mixture. I'll take a mixing bowl. In the mixing bowl, I'll take the cream cheese and caster sugar. I'll be using my electric bitter in one speed. Beat it till it gets smooth texture. To get a more smooth consistency, we'll be using little bit of cooking cream. For blueberry cheesecake, I have taken blueberry crush. In that, I am going to add agar agar. And this, I am going to mix into my cream cheese and give a whip. Now, I will be adding semi whipped cream. So my blueberry cheesecake mixture is ready. Now I am going to pour this mixture on my biscuit base. So I am using some fresh blueberry, cutting them into small pieces. That will give a, a punch in my blueberry cheesecake. You can fold them into your cheese cream mixture or else you can just drop when you are putting the cream cheese. So now it's time to fill the mold, spread it all the corner of the mold nicely and spread some blueberry inside. Fill the entire ring with the mixture. Now you give a nice scrape on top and now this will go for refrigeration for at least 4 hours. After resting of 4 hours of blueberry cheesecake, I am going to use on top some fresh blueberries and blueberry crush and little bit of agar agar 
for a thin jelly on top you have to pour slowly slowly spread the berries all over the corner so in each bite you will get the blueberry now i am using little whipped cream to pipe on the top of this blueberry cheesecake and using some fresh blueberries and add on to a life to this i am going to use a uh, green leaves today i am going to show you chilled coffee caramel cheesecake for coffee caramel cheesecake first i have to take caramel in that i am going to use my agar agar mix and mix it nicely and then add into my cream cheese now mix it now you have to fold the semi whipped cream and mix it again so my first caramel cheesecake mix is ready now i am going to put this in my biscuit base and spread it nicely all the corner now this i will put in fridge for resting again 30 minutes now i am going to make my coffee cream cheese mix in coffee decoction i am going to add this agar agar mix it nicely and add into after mixing now add the whipped cream coffee cheesecake mix is ready now i'm going to fill my mold with this now i am filling my mixture in the ring and fill it all the corners and scrape it and again rest for 4 hours for coffee caramel cheesecake i'm going to garnish with liquid caramel on top and using some some praline as a garnish and this is ready to serve after resting of 4 hours of coffee caramel cheesecake now i'm going to dust on top with some cocoa powder spread it nicely all over the places if you wish you can add some icing sugar in your cocoa powder to give the cocoa powder a little sweet note today i'm going to teach you everyone's favorite kit kat and oreo cheesecake for making oreo kit kat cheesecake I have taken some chocolate truffle in that I am using my agar agar mixing it nicely then pour into my cream cheese mix now I am going to mix it with the electric beater now I am going to use my whipped cream and mix it again. Do not over mix. Now the mixture is ready. I am going to put in my ring. Fill half of the ring and put this 
chopped Oreo and Kit Kat mix in the middle. So when you bite it, you will get a nice crunchy biscuit and chocolate bite. So fill the entire ring, scrape it nicely and set in the refrigerator for 4 hours. After resting of 4 hours, now on Oreo Kit Kat cake, I am going to use some Oreo and Kit Kat mix on top of it. I have used some neutral gel in this. If you wish, you can use a bit of agar agar for setting. Now this I am going to keep for some time in the fridge. So I am using a heat gun to remove my cheesecake ring. Apply the heat gun from little far. Now give a try. If it is not coming, we will be applying again. Yes. So we will apply the heat gun again. Yes, it's coming out. So now it's time for garnishing the cake. For garnishing the cheesecake, I am going to slice my Oreo biscuit in half. Send the Kit Kat. Cut into half. Pipe the whipped cream for rosette. Then one Oreo and another in Kit Kat. So my Kit Kat Oreo cheesecake is ready to serve. Hope you like this recipe. If you have any queries, contact us on 0794030 and WhatsApp number 9687587879. And stay tuned on our Facebook and Insta page at Official Manjus. Thank you. For our professional and short term courses, please visit to the institute. We will be happy to help you.